Hey there, and welcome to Duane and Nidia, Food, Travel, and Fun. This is Nidia, and today I'm going to talk to you about um, our new boat. Our new boat was delivered today. For those of you who have been watching Duane and I um, for a while now, you know that we have a boat. Well, we bought a boat last year. You can see it here. Um, Duane got some really nice footage of the boat, and he got this nice footage after he had spent several months um, preparing this boat for this year's season by doing a complete uh, renovation of just about everything. New cushions, rewiring, he installed a trolling motor. We got the, the gunnels all redone. All of the upholstery was redone. And he actually built a bait station in the back that was custom made to fit our marine cooler with some additional seating on either side. So, you know, this is a nice boat. We were so excited, but things happen and to be honest we only got that beauty out there on the water twice at the beginning of the season here's a shot from the only trip we took out and now it's in the garage and it's in the garage because the lower unit of the motor needs to be replaced we've been having trouble finding the parts so yeah just didn't work out for us so we're going to be selling this boat and while we knew we were not going to repower this boat because we were ready to move on to something else lo and behold as we peruse the ads in facebook we see this beauty and here's the thing folks we don't want to spend a lot of money on a boat boats are basically money pits and unless you have a lot of time and we don't because we work we we just wanted something that was going to be reliable with a great motor and we ended up finding a used boston whaler a classic 1981 boston whaler that had been well maintained, well taken care of by this um, this nice man. And he basically grew up with this boat in his family, it used to be his dad's. And we went up and saw the boat last Sunday and made him an offer. And he delivered the boat this morning. We could not be more excited. We love to fish and this is designed for fishing. Look at this beauty. Your thing. Yes, I'm gonna do my thing. Yeah. Right? Can record. And well, for our station. And here it comes, much like the way the car came. That's right, delivered right to our house. Well, that's quite the step up from what we had. Definitely. Over there, being taken care of. He's really good at this. <laughs> Hun, when you have a truck, you'll be good at it too. Although, I heard that this, um, that this boat is pretty light. Uh, it's under 2,000 pounds. Yeah. yeah. So, foam doesn't weigh a lot. Yeah. It's got a lot of foam. There she is. Yeah. And there's our buddy. Yeah, it looks Actually, great. You know what? I'll stand back there. We'll come back a little further. Okay. You want me to get an overboard or anything? Yeah, not really. That's good. Yeah, that's enough. Right. I'll just, yeah, I'll let you come. I'll, I'll get back there. Okay, so let me share a little bit more information about this uh, 1981 18-foot Boston Whaler outrage that we found. First of all, the man we bought it from repowered this boat with a brand new Tahatsu 115 horsepower. And he's selling it to us and the motor only has 97 hours on it. He's barely used it. He's used it for a couple of seasons and he's very busy. He's maintained it meticulously and has it serviced and winterized and opened up in the spring. So it just ran like a dream. You can see it as a center console. He also had replaced the helm seats behind the console and they're nice and cushioned. It has an amazing trailer. The trailer is practically new and it's been rewired and the lights are in great shape. He also gave us a spare tire. You can see it there. It's a vintage classic Boston Whaler. 
you can see it has teak wood up on the, the sides there. And Dwayne, of course, is going to lovingly <laughs> restore the teak, not just on the top of the gunnels or whatever they call that section of the boat there, um, the rails, but he's also going to redo the teak doors that open to the front side of the console. Oh, and here you can see a, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful motor. Oh my God, that motor was worth, is, I mean, when he powered this boat just a few years back with this brand new motor, the motor that he put on this boat cost more than what we just paid for, for the entire package. Repowering our old boat just did not make sense. But buying a boat with a great motor is what we had to do, and we were so lucky to find one. There we are. That's Dwayne looking at the motor. That's the nice man um, that we bought it from. And you can see Boston Whalers are very, very hardy, hardy, like, like a soup. No, Boston Whalers are these dependable boats known for their craftsmanship and known for their unsinkability. Uh, their hull is filled with foam. You can see me walking around here, um, kind of showing you. It does have rod holders. Those rod holders are actually also made of teak. See the teak on the front of the console? Dwayne will redo and restore that beautiful wood back to its shiny, glorious luster. There's also a door on the other side of this console. You can see right there all the cabling and the ability to maneuver and drive this boat from the console with that new motor. It's... After having the boat we are selling now with a motor that was considered a classic, a 115 tower of power, to go to something that has a brand newish motor from Tohatsu that everyone will touch and work on and is so new. I mean, 97 miles, 97 hours rather, or 93 hours. Amazing. Of course, there is a cooler with a cushion creating some extra seating here in the bow. You can see it here. And what we're going to do, in fact, what, what I've already ordered is a new cushion for the top of that cooler. And we're gonna use that particular cooler cushion and wash it and use it as a back, a back so we can sit back and have a cooler seat with a cushion behind you on the front of that console. The T-top on this thing is amazing. And we've already purchased T-top bags for storage. And we're going to put all of our emergency equipment in these very lightweight waterproof storage bags. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So as you can see and can probably figure out um, just by the way I'm talking, we're very, very excited. Um, very excited about this boat and really looking forward to getting this boat on the water. Um, obviously we have to register the boat and we have to register and, and you know put the plates on the trailer and get this boat ready for the water. It's pretty much turnkey for that. So that's what we're planning on doing next weekend, and we will have you join us, and we'll put a video out there just for that very same purpose. So again, thank you so much for watching our videos, and thank you for sharing in our adventures.